What's going on guys? Benny Childs, find out to teach me the fish face trading community. Back with a, another weekly outlook. Um, let's take a quick look at the news. Alright. Alright, so... Here is our high impact news for uh, this upcoming week. Uh, we are starting a new month, so we'll take a look at everything. So we pretty much have high impact news every day this week. All right, let's hop over to the charts. All right, let's take a look at that monthly. Taking a look at the monthly because uh, April first is tomorrow, so let's see what we've got. All right, so just really simple, just using the uh, next candle theory. Um, you guys can see here where. Right, let me get this. Sorry. All right. So you guys can see where this month's, month's candle closed above um, February's um, high. All right. So next candle theory says that the high of March is going to be our monthly draw on liquidity. So we want to see that tapped into um, by the time April is over. All right, let's hop down to the weekly. All right, so same thing. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly, we see last uh, the prior week's candle close before its prior week's candle all right so that is leaving this to be our monthly and weekly draw liquidity and we'll take a look at price action to see how likely this actually is to be in our draw liquidity all right, so that's that for the week. Hop over to the monthly again. We can see that we did sweep highs over here. Okay, change that to black. All right. So again, we can see that we swept highs uh, over here. Okay, um, and we did create a doji candle for the month of uh well not doji but indecision counter for the month of um march so it's very possible that uh, we could be looking at lower price action or bearish price action all right let's take a look at the weekly oh, sorry let's hop back over to the month so if we did sweep or since we swept that high we're looking for um, April to trade back into a fair value gap and or an order block. All right. Let's take a look at the dealing range for the month. And I basically go from the first liquidity suite of the price leg to the last point. Okay. So our monthly um, discount area is going to start at 
$15,141.50. Okay. So now if you wanted to, you can go ahead and mark that. We'll just put it to about there, okay? Fifteen one forty one fifty. Okay. And we're just taking our time to do this, guys. So this will be our monthly. I will just call it the equilibrium. How about that? Okay, let's go ahead and lock that in. Alright. So more than likely, this fair value gap right here may be our internal target. Okay. All right, let's drop down to the weekly. Okay, if we take a look at the weekly, we do see where these highs were swept and price pulled back. Okay. Um, We've also created a swing high right here, all right? So I would love to immediately see a bullish candle be created on the weekly and then to have it close below. Um, if you guys were swing trading, that could be a sign to get ready for uh, an entry if you're swing trading. All right. So if we take a look at the weekly here, what has price action showed us? Price action has showed us the sweep of liquidity. Our next target would be a internal range okay which will be a fair value gap excuse me internal range of liquidity that's what I'm saying so we do have a fair value gap here so um, we can see price make its way at least down to this fair value gap all right so ultimately I'm bearish all right but in order to go bearish, I believe that the algorithm is going to take some type of buy side liquidity. All right. Hopefully that would be our monthly slash weekly buy side drawing liquidity and then head down. Okay. Let's take a look at the daily. All right. We see that the daily has just been kind of chopping around here inside of this fair value gap really not going anywhere just giving us a bunch of indecision candles okay uh, so for me that really does not tell me much okay however we do see where we had a sweep of this liquidity after the sweep of liquidity um, of this swing high the market did what it typically does goes back down in search of internal range liquidity all right so we've been tapping into there so since uh, we've had that uh, lit lit litigation excuse me of this fair value gap I want to see the market come up sweep these highs and head back lower okay um, we did create another swing low inside of this fair value gap. Okay. And 
if you're trading from the, the daily you'll want to see a close above this candle right here all right to look for an entry okay so again i am still bearish however i want to see buy side liquidity swap okay all right let's drop down to the four hour so the four hours looking like for us okay all right i don't see a market structure shift on the four hour okay uh, reason being is because this low created this high all right and this low would need to be broken to give us a four hour um, change of character all right but we do see that it's working its way down i'm sure as we go down to the lower time frames uh, we will eventually see a, a bearish change of character all right so let's take a look at the one hour Okay, and we do have a bearish change of character on the one hour. Okay, so this low, let's do it like this. Let's move this down. So this low created this high, all right, and. Yep, so that is the highest high. So this low created this high. We've had a candle close below there. Okay. And we received our change of character. All right. And the market did come back up into um, this. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> uh, but it did come up into this breaker block and then started to sell off okay that's there on the one hour and it's been working its way down okay we did have um some market structure shifts you know or, uh, i wouldn't call it that i i, I would say um breaker structures here just uh leading us to the downside okay um, but the highs have been protected okay so still bearish however I do want to see a bullish market structure shift or change of character to go with my higher time frame analysis of the market trading and sweeping order to head lower okay so let's take a look at see if that's taking place on the 15 minute okay so it has not taken place yet all right here on the 15 minute we are chopping around all right inside of this fair value gap right here okay um we would need to see a inversion of that fair value gap right there. Um, this is the high that created this lower low. So we will want to see a break. Sorry. We want to see a break of this high. Right. And look for an entry someone down here to take that back up so for this week my initial target all right is bullish my initial target of eighteen thousand seven hundred eight dollars and fifty cents okay i would like to see that swell and then preferably trade it all the way down to a fair value gap 
that has not been mitigated, which would be this one. Starting at, let's just take that off. The sphere value cap has not been liquidated. Starting at $15,923.25. All right, so again, I want to see the sweep here and then trade it back down at least to here then eventually to our monthly equilibrium okay before the market uh heads up all right so that is just me taking a look at price action looking to see um how that how our price action has played out all right and then of course on a day-to-day -day basis guys i just trade uh, what the market presents okay so just looking for the market to trade inside of a point of interest look for a chalk and trade accordingly so all right guys i hope this has been helpful i will check in throughout the week um updating my daily targets and that is one thing i didn't do let's take a look at the daily targets So, we have Wednesday's candle, it swept Thursday's low and closed above. So, that means Thursday, I would have been looking for, or I was looking for, this how to be swept. It did not get get it's up i think because of the short trading week and all that good stuff um the algorithm or the powers that be did not trade into that so i'm just gonna make that thursday my side draw on liquidity all right so that is pretty much still intact for me Okay, because um, Thursday's candle, I can, right, you see, Thursday's candle, it was an inside candle. It didn't sweep the high or the low. So this is still intact for me. Let's take a look at the four hour. All right, so if we take a look at the last four hour candle for last week, what did it do? It swept the previous four hour low and it closed above. So for me, looking for that four hour drawn liquidity to be swept. So that's the target for me. Let's take a look at the one hour. All right, so the same thing. Buy this one hour candle, swap this one hour as low, close above it. So this would be the one hour target. But we're not going to mark that. I like to mark my four hour daily and weekly, sometimes monthly, draws on liquidity. All right. So ultimately, overall for the market, I think that we'll eventually get a setup um, um, for the market to begin to sell lower. I mean, we are already in, in bearish price action, um, but I think that the market will present itself to take out buy side liquidity and then start to um further promote the uh, bearish price action okay all right so guys you you guys have my initial targets now all right this is what i'm looking for going into the week all right and of course my intraday trades i will counter trend trade uh trade you know with the market flow um 
just whatever the market shows me um, that's pretty much what I do targeting uh, the low hanging fruit as ICT puts it so all right guys that is going to be my market outlook for the MNNQ or the micro NASDAQ 100 futures index and uh, I hope this was helpful and I will touch bases with you guys throughout the week updating my targets sharing my trades as well so um, as always guys I hope you all stay well and safe trading to you have a good one